In this video, we'll discover about aging and anti-aging. What is it? Many people wish they could be like Hydra, a relative of the jellyfish, who have a regenerative system that makes them immortals. If only wishes were horses. The reason we age remains a myth that hopelessly offers no answer. Many turn to religions such as Christianity that explains that we age because sin came into the world through one man, and creation is since then destined to suffer corruption. A typical atheist wouldn't agree, but no other explanation seems to offer any hope. We seem to be all destined to live in our bodies for a while and abandon it, or it ejects us at some point which leads to death. In this opening chapter, we will explore the aging process and some of the most common aging theories, as well as anti-aging. Types of age. There are different types of age, depending on certain considerations. There are situations where a 45-year-old woman is dating a 25-year-old man. Many people will find this match disturbing and unethical. However, for people who see age as just a number, they wouldn't see anything absurd about this relationship. Below are the various perspectives of viewing age. Chronological age. This is the common type of age. It is defined as the number of years a person has lived in this world. This implies that chronological age depends on the Earth's revolutions around the sun. It is counted in days, months, and years. When people ask you how old you are, you tell them your chronological age. Experts posit that chronological age is a limited way of looking at people because it doesn't offer enough information about a person. It is also difficult to predict. When you look at some people, you would assume that they are in their early 60s due to how they look. However, you might be surprised that they are in their late 40s. This shows that there should be other factors or ways of looking at people. Biological age. This type of age describes the development of an individual based on biomarkers. A biomarker is a significant cellular or molecular event. In other words, biological age involves looking at people based on how they are, rather than when they were born. In most cases, humans follow the same biological path. A good example of a biomarker is the onset of puberty. More complicated ones include the increase of sex hormones, increase in human growth hormone, and myelination events in the brain. It also involves the degradation of certain tissues in the body as a person grows older. So biological age is all about the body. Psychological age. If you don't believe that people's maturity shouldn't be evaluated based on their body features or chronological age, you are in good company. Psychological age relies on markers such as logic, experience, and emotions. Psychologists such as Erickson, Piaget, and Freud have developed stage theories that judge people's development outside of physical features. According to psychological age, a 25-year-old man might be more emotionally mature than a 56-year-old woman. Therefore, he might be able to help her to become more emotionally stable if they are in a romantic relationship. There are special tests psychologists use for measuring these benchmarks. Functional age. Many people prefer to evaluate individuals based on their functional age. This is because it offers a more holistic approach, because it is a combination of psychological, chronological, and biological age. In other words, this assessment looks at when people were born, their physical features, and emotional or logical development to determine their maturity. Theories of aging. In the last 30 years, gerontology, the study of aging, has progressed incredibly despite being a relatively new science. This progress shows the increase in the commitment of scientists to understand the reason our bodies grow weaker and pay over time. Below are some of the classifications of the theories that have developed to offer insight into why our bodies grow weaker and our health deteriorates. Programmed Theories of Aging According to these theories, the human body is programmed to age, and it follows a particular biological timeline. The central idea of these theories is that we are designed to age. Therefore, our bodies are simply following a natural pattern it has been designed to follow. Examples of these theories include the programmed longevity theory, endocrine theory, and the immunological theory. The programmed longevity theory states that we grow weaker because certain genes in our bodies switch on and off over time. Endocrine theorists believe that we age due to the activities of hormones that control the process by causing regular changes in our bodies. Meanwhile, the immunological theory posits that the immune system is designed to decline over time, leaving people more vulnerable to sicknesses. Error Theories of Aging Some experts feel that the program theories are too deterministic. In response, they propose the error theories of aging. These theories explain that aging is a product of damages caused by the environment to the body systems. These damages accumulate over time and make our bodies weaker. 
Examples of these theories include wear and tear theory, rate of living theory, and free radical theory. The wear and tear theory claims that we age because our cells and tissues wear out due to exposure to harmful elements. The rate of living theory asserts that the rate of aging of an individual depends on how fast the person consumes oxygen. However, the free radical theory claims that aging is a product of the damages caused by free radicals in the environment of the cells. Genetic theory of aging. This theory was developed based on a study that revealed that certain genes play vital roles in aging. During the research, the investigators removed some cells containing some specific genes in the mice's organs. The results showed that the removal extended the lifespan of the rodents by as much as 35%. The researchers could not extrapolate the result of the experiment directly into a human context. Nonetheless, the study proves that genetic factors are responsible for the differences in the aging process in various people. People. The investigators also discovered that some structured on the end of DNA, called telomeres, eventually depletes. Their depletion leads to the ceasing of the duplication of cells. Biochemical Theory of Aging This theory asserts that our bodies are constantly undergoing complex biochemical reactions regardless of the genes we have inherited. Some of these reactions damage the body and eventually leads to aging. Examining these reactions is offering scientists better insight into how our body changes over time. Part of the discovery of biochemical theorists is that the systems that repair the DNA become less effective as we grow older. Indeed, no single theory has been able to offer a complete explanation to why we age. However, there is a consensus that aging is a complex interaction of chemistry, genetics, physiology, and behavior. Anti-aging the word behavior above was deliberately highlighted because it offers hope. If our actions play a role in the aging process, it means it isn't all gloom and doom. It shows that there are things you can do that can slow the process and boost your health. All the actions, steps, and techniques that can be utilized to slow the hands of time and improve your health are called anti-aging. The subsequent chapters of this guide will explore factors that speed up the aging process and anti-aging techniques that can slow it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.